Trackmaster ended in 2014 while the original Tantrack system did, and since then we've been getting the Revolution engines. But what if I told you that a brand new Trackmaster original item, sort of, has been shown to us? Well, let's rewind to 2009. Hit Toys had just released their final iteration of the Trackmaster Splatter, that was first released back in 2000 for Thomas and the Magic Railroad, and the same was with Splatter's twin Dodge, except Dodge was later re released by Fisher Price in 2010 with no major changes, but still a re release is a re release. But sadly, Splatter never got the luxury of it. 2010 re-release. But then sometime after Trackmaster Revolution appeared, knockoffs of these characters started to appear, and the thing was that they were stupidly accurate, some even improvements. Take Liberated Gordon that could run on AA batteries instead of C ones, Aryan Bird being given flat type drive units, and of course Dodge. As he was released by Fisher Price, naturally he got a reimagining. Truth be told, every diesel engine that used the same mold as diesel was just simply redone. But time ticks on, no splatter. Until today. On some random website, a Fisher Price flat drive type Type unit, Splatter has been unveiled. You can see that it is the same matte finish as the other diesels. The colours are slightly bluer than last time we saw him, and the main thing, the moulded face that we praised Dodge for having is the exact same. Yet they didn't bother making a new face. But this isn't new. When Fisher Price made Donald and Douglas, they had the same face, and when they did Bill and Ben, they did too, so it's not out of the ordinary. But hey, with this character that has been given an entirely new mould face and battery, who knows what's coming next? Are there hit characters left in the dust? Maybe a daisy? Well, all we can do now is speculate, but you've got to admit the first. First new splatter in 14 years is pretty epic.